example. Okay, let L be a mapping from R2 to R2. So this is a linear operator. Be defined by L of the vector xy is equal to x plus y, x minus y. Okay. We will let v1 be x1, y1. We'll let v2 be x2, y2. We want to show I'm going to use the second formulation. L of V1 equals L of V2 implies that V1 equals V2. So we're trying to show that it's one to one and we're going to use this alternate condition. So let's let this be true. So L of V1 equals L of V2. That means x1 plus y1, x1 minus y1 is equal to L of v2, which is x2 plus y2, x2 minus y2, not 1. Well, this, these are equal to each other. That means I get this equation, x1 plus y1 equals x2 plus y2. And from the second part, these are equal. So let me draw these are equal and these are equal. So x1 minus y1 equals x2 minus y2. All right. Uh, the way I've arranged these, if I actually just add these equations straight down, I get 2x1 is equal to 2x2 which implies that x1 equals x2. When I put these back, I also get y1 equals y2. This means that v1, which is x1, y1, is equal to v2. So by starting with a supposition that this is the case, I've shown that this is the case, which is precisely what this implication means. Implication means that when this is true, it implies this. Well, to work this out mathematically, I start with this and I follow the train of logic. And if I end up with this, that means this implication is true. This, is the, this implication is the definition of one to one. Therefore, yes, this map is one to one. In other words, every single vector that I take, that I map, will always map to something different. Okay. Let's do a second example here. Example two. L will be R3 to R2. So it's a linear map, not a linear operator. And it is defined by L of X, Y, Z equals X, Y. This is our projection mapping. Okay, I'll take some random um, x, y, z instead of variables. We'll actually use numbers. Let's let v1 equal 2, 4, 5. And we'll let our second vector equal 2, 4, negative 7. Well, now let's use v1 is not equal to v2. These two are not equal to each other. However, let's see if this implies question, does it imply that L of V1 does not equal L of V2? Well, L of V1 is 2, 4. If I take 2, 4, 5, I take the first two. The question, does it equal 2, 4, which is the L of V2? Yes, I take that one and that one. 
for V2, 2, 4. 2, 4 equals 2, 4. So therefore, this implication is not true. I started off with two different vectors, yet I ended up mapping to the same vector in R2. In other words, what happened was these two spaces, okay? I had two separate vectors in my departure space. I had this vector, 2, 4. They both mapped to the same thing. That's not 1 to 1. This is 2 to 1. So no. Not 1 to 1. Okay.